Our verse today is Mark chapter 3, verse 4. Jesus said to them, Is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil, to save life or to kill? But they remained silent. Jesus simply and directly questioned if it was necessary to do good or evil, to kill or to save life, even if it were the Sabbath day. The Pharisees, however, found it challenging to respond, so they opted to remain silent. This is a part of the conflict Jesus will have with the Pharisees over the Sabbath. On this particular occasion, Jesus entered the synagogue on the Sabbath and encountered a man who had a crippled hand. There were different groups of people in the synagogue, including the Pharisees, who would later leave to plot to kill Jesus with the Herodians, even on the Sabbath day. While there in the synagogue, a house of prayer, Jesus could see the mind of the Pharisees, who according to verse 2, were looking for some reasons to accuse Jesus. So they watched him closely to see if he would heal the man on the Sabbath. It was for this reason that Jesus told the man to stand in front of everyone. And he asked them in our verse, which is lawful on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil, to save life or to kill. But they remained silent. Jesus would then heal the man, although he was angry and deeply distressed at their stubbornness of heart. Exodus chapter 35 verse 2 had stipulated that the seventh day of the week will be a holy day, a Sabbath of rest to honor the Lord, and anyone who walks on that day must be put to death. The Pharisees must have considered the healing act to be work. Thus, they believed that if Jesus touched the man to heal him, he should be put to death. This indicates that they neglected the spiritual significance of the Sabbath in favor of focusing solely on its physical observance. Jesus exposed them because instead of spiritually connecting with God, they were plotting evil on the Sabbath. In fact, Jesus would challenge their hypocrisy in Luke chapter 13 verse 15. Does not each of you untie your ox or your donkey on the Sabbath and lead them to drink water? And in Luke chapter 14 verse 5, he asked them, Who among you, if your son or ox falls into a well, would not immediately pull him out, even on the Sabbath day? So on the Sabbath, they are not prohibited from saving lives. Therefore, the purpose of Jesus' question was to awaken their conscience, their understanding of the Spirit of the law, and their knowledge of God. But they hardened their hearts, and they were not ready to give room for good. So, regrettably, they forced themselves into the wrong side of God's law. Therefore, while Jesus was doing good by seeing the man as a child of God who deserved life, the Pharisees were doing evil by seeking to trap Jesus, looking for reasons to accuse him. Also, while Jesus healed the man on the Sabbath, hence saving life, the Pharisees got to work, planning to kill Jesus. The hypocrisy could not be clearer. They never practiced what they preached. The only thing Jesus requested the man to do was to stretch out his hands, which is not work in and of itself. However, the Pharisees walked out and met the Herodians where they physically plotted to kill Jesus and that is work on the Sabbath. How often do we hide under the banner of Christianity to commit sin while accusing and judging others of sins we ourselves might be involved in? Let us pray that the laws would not cloud our vision and prevent us from seeing and appreciating others, especially those in need of God's compassion and care. And this is especially true for Christians who should avoid being judgmental and condemnatory of others, lest we become cruel instead of kind and cause destruction rather than saving lives. Let us pray. God our Father, we thank you for giving us the gift of your Son as well as your Spirit which enlightens us regarding the Spirit of the law. Help us to interact with others more humanely and give us the ability to protect and save lives rather than to destroy and to kill. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May God bless you and I wish you 
a lovely day.